Star Wars Obi Wan. Yep. You seen it? Absolutely. Darth Probably Vader's. Too. Um. I actually got chills watching that shit. <laughs> yeah. That shit was kind of lit. Like, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, <laughs> so basically what happened was uh, they got on. Well, uh, Kumail, I forgot his fucking, his fucking uh, character's name. But uh, what yeah. he did, he was directing him to the drop point on this planet that looks like the deserts of California for some fucking reason. Because <laughs> that's probably where they chose it. What the fuck do you mean? Ain't no, they don't got real alien planets. You know that, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, like uh, they was going there, and um, <laughs> and it was a drop off point. But Obi Wan, he was like in denial. He was like, "Nobody's coming, like nobody's coming." He's like, "Yes, they are." So they ended up walking away, and yeah. then they got picked up by this transporter dude, which I, for some reason I thought it was Seth, Seth Rogen for the fucking reason. Nah, it's, like, uh, it's actually Zach Brown. <laughs> oh, it is okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, is this some sort of rat pig looking thing? <laughs> yeah, fucking like mole or something. So, uh, so, those those. those Nigga mole rat. Yeah, some shit. He was like, hop on. I'm going to the next transport. I was just waiting for him to say, <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, all right. So, uh, some stormtroopers jumped in in the back. And um, I thought they was going to get caught at first because he yeah. was like, he was calling her, calling her Leia. He's like, wait, wait, hold on. I thought her name was something else. He's like, yeah, uh, that, that's, that's, that's her mother's name. Yeah, he's like, that's her mother. Well, the, the story was kind of convincing, though, because he was trying to act yeah. like like a senile old man. He was like, yeah, it's her, it's her mother. She passed mother's away. You know, then, yeah, so he was bugging out. So they got out. I was like, oh, that's the boo with that. I thought, I thought he was about to break out the lightsaber and start chopping motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, but that didn't happen. So this motherfucker hit like a roadblock. And then motherfucker the rat nigga jump out and he was like you yeah, got a couple of strays in the back I'm like oh this motherfucker <laughs> snitch yeah you for real you rat ass nigga yeah. <laughs> you rat bastard <laughs> you rat bitch <laughs> so so what happened with that Obi-Wan just pulled out the blicky and started shooting the motherfuckers <laughs> so they got shot then another transport rolled up and <laughs> they was about to get arrested but then this woman just shot the sword troopers in the back. Come to find out, yeah. she's one of the. Uh, I, I'm, ba- I'm I'm basically thinking they're rebels, because I think this is yeah, like the, so- yeah, yeah, this is the resurgence of the rebels. Because she used to be her imperial, but then she was like, I thought we was doing good, but then like you know, oh she was on she was on Game of Thrones. I'm called the Path. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm called the Path. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that turns into the resistance or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see, but it could be. Yeah, that was homegirl from uh fucking Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah, the one that now oh but the before we, uh, forget, shout out to that fucking stormtrooper that got cut in half by that fence. Oh yeah, I was like, shit. oh shit, nigga, they going crazy <laughs> in this shit. I was like, oh, yeah, that, that shit was wild. I was like, oh damn, man, that shit could do that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think they were going crazy like that. I was like, oh shit, all right. That's yeah, cool. it's the new Star Wars. A little bit more violent. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, keep doing motion. motion. Yeah, I think it, I think it's cool because they got helmets on. They don't really have to express it, so <laughs> you can get yeah. away with beating the, beating the ass. Uh, yeah, but but one definitely got shot off the uh, the tower, but he he didn't yeah. do the classic stream like ah. Oh, no, oh, he, yeah, he, he did, did a new one. Ah! I thought they were gonna do it, but they didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, they did the uh, the modern day version of the screen. <laughs> yeah, now they gotta do the well helm. They always gotta do the well helm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so so that happened. Then they went to this town. And homegirl was like, I right, just stay right there. I think, I think, I think somebody just just make sure somebody didn't see us because I think the security got buffed up or something like that. So she went in there. She told Obi Wan to come, and then they had this mechanic droid that don't really speak. But this yeah. motherfucker was about to clock a motherfucker with the hammer. Hammer, yeah, he just said the hammer has about to knock you out. Yeah. <laughs> so stormtroopers came in talking mad shit. <laughs> he was like, ah, oh, he's just a droid. He, he's just a mechanic droid. He, he doesn't have any, you know, doesn't have any voice box. But that motherfucker was about to hammer, <laughs> about to break the hammer down on that motherfucker till he walked out. Yeah. Then uh, they went through the past and um. See, this is like a callback to uh, the Clone Wars series. Uh, Kenobi, he's seen like names. I guess it was names of everybody who went through that path. And mm-hmm. Quinlan was one of them. Quinlan is from uh, the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. It's like that Jedi. He kind of looks Native American. Like he got like some sort of like kind of got like locks and he got like this yellow strip across his face. I know exactly yeah. who that was. Yeah. Um, that, that was kind of cool to see that shit. And then... Um, what happened? 
What happened after that? I think. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Then uh, Darth Vader comes. <laughs> yeah, these niggas. Uh, <laughs> that's what happened. Though. <laughs> yeah, like fucking Darth Vader comes. <laughs> And like what's happening with the um basically with the um inquisitors, they're trying to fight for power, which is kind of like pointless because they can never be like they can never be Sith. They could just be dark Jedi, basically. Like they'll just be they stuck in the, Yeah, like they, they well, can't they could they can if um Vader kills the Palpatine. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He takes them as an apprentice. Yeah, like <clears> which is probably what he's promising them or what they think is gonna happen, because you know it's the rule of two or whatever. Yeah. And that's the whole like premise of um Forced on leash games, yeah. Like he had a secret apprentice, basically. But yeah. So I mean, I understand, you know, and that's part of the Sith's problem is their their greed for power yeah. sort of is their downfall a little bit because they're always fighting each other. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's only two of them. Yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Darth Vader comes, and I would say this like. As much shit that Disney gets, this is the second time they've shown Darth Vader live action and they fucking nailed that shit. Like, they really yeah. got this motherfucker as the boogeyman of the galaxy. This motherfucker right. came through and choked the motherfucker out of his house. Yep. <laughs> and then his boy tried to help. He pushed him to the Snapped wall and neck. <laughs> stabbed this motherfucker's neck. Stabbed the little nigga neck like dead. Killed this nigga too. <laughs> took the bitch and started dragging her. Yeah, dragging her. <laughs> I was like, damn, son. <laughs> It was like, like yo, <laughs> that shit was wild, man. The Obi Wan just stood there, was like, nah, I ain't kind about this dog. So <laughs> he start running, and then Vader basically finds his ass. They start fighting, and he's fighting with one hand, like he always does, because Obi Wan, mm -hmm. he, he's he's out of practice. He can't really do anything, yep. but. Th that even that they they kind of made him like fucking Michael Myers because <laughs> every facts, time he was running, this nigga just come out of nowhere. <laughs> but they kind of have to because it kind of restrained. Yeah, and and it also it because the unfortunate. So the part of the problem is obviously in the original trilogies when they did lightsaber battles, they were like sort of stiff and stilted, and then yeah. when they did the prequels, we kind of see what they could do what they was like flipping and doing all sort of kind of crazy or what lightsaber battles really could have been. Mm -hmm. So now they're kind of like stuck in a, in a sense, well, we got to find a reason why. And I think they, they, they're doing this because, you know, Vader is obviously mostly robot, but he's still powerful and Obi-Wan is super out of practice. Yeah. So obviously that's why he's not flipping because he's able body. He's not like an old, old man. He should be able to do some of the stuff that he was doing back yeah. in the day, but it's been 10 years since he used the force and he's super out of practice. So it's like, it sort of makes sense that he's not like going crazy. Yeah, yeah. So he could do nothing but run. Uh, oh, this is all he did. <laughs> yeah, but this, this this shit is a lot more violent than I thought it would be. Like this motherfucker, he took the fucking whatever crystals that was that he flamed on them shits, took yeah. Obi Wan, and then put this motherfucker in the fire <laughs> like he did him. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck? This nigga getting burned and shit. <laughs> Payback, bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna do what you what you did much. to me, dog. Pretty much. It's more fire. Oh man, but then homegirl, she 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 just basically obstructed everything by shooting the stormtrooper and then shot shot the smoke and right. shit and got Obi Wan out of there. Yeah. Oh man, but that episode that shit that episode was crazy. Yeah, I mean, and it, it, it ends with Leia getting kidnapped by Reva. Yeah, again, which is annoying. She's getting yeah, kidnapped it again. is. But obviously, we gotta have a reason for him to keep going after whatever. Um, and we gotta find, we gotta find out what uh, Reva's backstory is. I'm guessing she was one of them younglings. And I think in episode three, Obi Wan does go back to the temple, but to like erase something, and he just leaves or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing maybe she was there and saw him oh. as a youngling, and she's just mad that he didn't save her because she because she's it's super personal with her Obi Wan. Yeah, which I don't know, like the way it's not with other Jedi. So I'm trying to figure out why she's so angry at Obi Wan specifically. Um, so maybe some shit like that. So like she thought Obi Wan was gonna save her. And then he's like, nah, nigga, I'm out. I'm selfish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and also doing a good job to show, like, Obi-Wan is kind of uh, coward-ish, like, now. He's like, yeah. he, he doesn't believe in anything like that. He's like, oh, they're, gonna... they're not coming, so we gotta go. We're not doing this. Yeah. And he's, like, not trusting and all that kind of shit. And, like, uh, to... It, it, it's they're, they're trying to make you believe that this man really just ended up going back to this planet of Tatooine and didn't do shit and... and, and hit out for however long <laughs> yeah. another 10 more years or however long it is in between now and the new yeah. home. It's like, these are showing the path to that. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely teasing uh, Liam Neeson's. <laughs> well, that's why oh, yeah, guys show up. Yeah, if he, he doesn't show up. That's a big missed opportunity. But yeah, yeah. Like, I'm he, pretty sure he's gonna be like last episode, like some shit. Yeah, like or what? He's gotta like fight Vader one last time. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, you have to do this, and because like, <laughs> obviously he's gonna get that like little push to like be a semblance of the old Obi Wan. Obviously, I don't think he'll reach complete old Obi Wan status. But like, yeah. it's like one, one last hurrah type of thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. That shit was lit though. Yeah, nah. I still real good. We got three more episodes left. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna end though. I mean, he's gonna save Leia, and then he's gonna go be like, "All right, cool. <laughs> I'm an old man now. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just don't know how you go from you and McGregor to that old ass nigga in like ten years." <laughs> but I digress. Yeah, well, I don't know. Put some grades on him, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe uh, something happens to him with the Force, like it did with the Emperor, where he got lightning to the face. Maybe. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Maybe, and that could explain why he was. Wasn't so strong when he fought Vader or something. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I think I think he yeah. was. I think he was. I just think he just took he, a gamble. Yeah, he just did all he could yeah. because his whole purpose of being on fucking uh, Tatooine to was to Luke. yeah, there was to watch over Luke Train. and bring him to Yoda, and for him to learn how to become a Force Ghost from Qui Gon. That that was basically his mm-hmm. whole fucking objective. <clears throat> Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, all right, what's next? Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi snagged the title of most watched Disney Plus original premiere. That's surprising, but not surprising. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Star Wars is universal, and it's Obi, um, it's Ewan McGregor coming back, so you know, yeah. people's excited for that. Yeah, that's and it's good. it's Star Wars with lightsabers and not, <laughs> <laughs> and not niggas with Japan, which I know, like, there's there's a whole world of Star Wars, but the the the, the draw for Star Wars is the force and the I lightsabers that is like i think <laughs> the main draw for a, a large chunk of people obviously there's stories in there that have nothing to do with jedi that are yeah. entertaining and really good but the draw lightsabers star wars <laughs> yeah and this, this has that compared to mandalorian and whatever the hell boba fett was <laughs> boba, boba fett was trash compared to this shit i, I would never watch that shit again it, there's no purpose I never finished it, yeah, which I feel bad. I, I, like I like the dude they got playing Boba Fett, but they just made not great decisions. But nah, you ain't gotta, if they get another season, maybe it'll, it'll improve it. Yeah, um, I, don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't even think Boba Fett was as violent as this shit. Oh nah, I don't, not, well let me not say nah. I can only watch like the first two episodes. Nah, I don't, nah, I don't think it was like a nigga got cut in fucking half. Like I didn't see yeah, that in fact, Boba Fett. Amazing. <laughs> I was like I didn't think they could do some shit like that, but they yeah. did it. Oh, but 